Welcome to another episode of LSP, Learn Solar with Photons. Today we'll be focusing on solar water pumping system. What is solar water pumping system? Solar water pumping system is actually moving water from one point to another using solar energy. Uh, in solar water pumping systems, we have three main components. The first component is the solar panels or solar array. When you connect more than one solar panel, it's solar array. And this is responsible for collecting the solar energy, converting them to electricity, which in then runs the pump. And the other component is a pump controller, which actually controls the uh, operation of the pump. And the third component is the pump itself, which normally consists of the pump and the motor. These pumps can either be a surface pump or submersible pumps, where submersible pumps are used in boreholes or deep water sources, while uh, surface pumps are actually um, installed outside the water. Application of solar water pumping actually ranges from irrigation to domestic water to leisure. In leisure, I mean uh, swimming pools. For irrigation, um, a farmer can have a borehole and he wants to irrigate his farm, so he can use a solar water pumping system and uh, pump water during the day and do the irrigation. In order to get an effective solar water pumping system, different factors have to be considered. And the first factor is the amount of water you need per day. That's the water demand per day. And the second factor is the pumping head. Where are you pumping to? What's the elevation? Um, what's the static head? If you have a drilling report, that's a perfect way to start um, designing your uh, pumping systems. Estimating the head for, for borehole system, it's important to have the static head and the height of the storage tank, the drawdown, and also the friction losses in the piping. So it's important to know the length of the pipes. So those information, it will help you to get the perfect solar water pumping system, which will pump the accurate amount of water that you need per day. Let's look at the different pumps that um, are applicable for solar water pumping systems. The good thing is that we are Lorenz partners and we have Lorenz products here. On my right hand side, we have um, surface pumps. Normally it's installed um, outside the water, water source and it sucks the water. We have the suction side and delivery side and it pushes the water to the uh, delivery point that you want. But also we have the submersible pump, which I'll show how it works. Um, and this submersible pump is here. We have uh, a demo for the borehole, and the submersible pump is inside the borehole. So this is a submersible pump, which actually pumps water direct through this um, delivery pipe to where you need water to be delivered to. And I'll switch this on and then you'll see how it works. Um, for this case, because we are in-house, we are not using solar directly, but we'll be using grid. And for that reason, we have installed a power pack, which converts the grid power to make that produced by the solar and pump um, and operate the pump. So um, this is now live demo. So. Our pump is working and pumping water. But we install some other accessories as well for protection purposes. Uh, in here we have um, a well prop. This protects the pump from uh, running dry because it's risky for the pump to run dry as it may damage the pump. So we have this one. In case the borehole dries up, uh, and for that reason, the probe will be above the water and it will switch off the pump automatically. Those are part of the accessories that we install to protect the pump. Normally with the big array, you have a PV protect to uh, safely disconnect the array from the, from the controller. And this one you see here is the pump controller it says. It's the one that controls the operation of the pump because these pumps are um, running on uh, free, uh, uh, variable speed drive they need a controller um, to actually match the produced uh, power from the array and what is needed by the, by the pump. So that is it for now. Um, we've come to an end to this episode. Don't forget to follow us through our social medias shown on the screen. And you can also visit our offices in Sakina or our showroom at A Mall in Majengo. Thank you very much.